Disclaimer. All credit for the following pictures and information can be found in the description below. Welcome back trainers to Pokemon New Zealand where a world of adventure awaits you. After defeating the Elite Four for entering to the Hall of Fame, several key areas and events will be unlocked, so let's explore them. After block for construction for the duration of your journey, Wellington is finally open to the public. Wellington is the capital of New Zealand and offers a plethora of exciting attractions such as Oriental Bay, Weta Cave, and a variety of museums and restaurants. Not only is this where you'll find the Grand Pokemon Contest Hall, the biggest of its kind, you'll also find the Friend Safari, which is based on Zelandia. Zelandia is an eco-sanctuary with the goal of bringing its ecosystem back to pre-human interference. It will be here where you will be able to catch other Pokemon from prior regions for a limited amount of time. Another area that will be open during the post game is Vangare. Also known as the City by the Sea, Vangare houses many leisure activities such as beaches, museums, and specialty shops. One of the key highlights of Vangare is Mount Parihaka, which features one of the largest excavated fortified villages in New Zealand. It will be here where you will meet the three legendary eels for a limited amount of time. Eels are considered an important food source in Maori tradition, and they are considered the guardians of streams, lakes, and rivers. The three eels will consist of frostfish, hagfish, and conger eel. Frostfish are warm water fish that arrive near the coast during frosty winters because of their dislike of the cold weather. Hagfish search for prey using their tentacles in their heads and release sticky slime to protect themselves from predators. Conger eel are nocturnal creatures that swim near the ground and search for prey. The final area that will be available after after the post game is Te Anau in the Fjordland region. Te Anau is the gateway to Milford Sound and the main visitor space for Fjordland National Park. You hear stories from the locals that there have been some people at the park who are causing a ruckus and ask the trainer to investigate what is happening. You head over to Route 27 which is based on the said park. Fjordland National Park is a beautiful natural landscape filled with rainforest, waterfalls, and snow-capped peaks. Due to its vast landscapes, there will be a wide variety of Pokemon to match the varying environments. The peak of the suspicious action in the question occurs in Milford Sound and Doubtful Sound, sometimes called the eighth wonder of the world, Milford Sound's beautiful mountains and powerful waterfalls are a sight to see in any given weather. Sometimes called the Sound of Silence, Doubtful Sound is the deepest and second longest fjord of South Island. As it turns out, both areas are filled with Team Rocket who are hoping to catch some Pokemon there in order to revive the team. After defeating these Team Rocket members, Araraki confronts them to officially announce that Team Rocket is to be disbanded and any gathering resulting in unlawful actions will be punished. Another story introduced in the post game is the story of Matariki and her six daughters. Matariki is the Maori name for the cluster of stars also known as the Pleiades and signals the Maori New Year. The most common myth surrounding Matariki is that they are the eyes of Takwini Matia who tore his eyes out after the separation of Rangi and Papa and threw them into the heavens. In this scenario, we'll be using the legend that the star Matariki is the mother surrounded by her six daughters who visit Papa to assist the different environments for the coming year. When you visit Queenstown, a mother in Queenstown asks you if you have seen her daughters during your journey. She asks you that if you you do see them to inform them that it is time to come home. The six daughters will be scattered in various parts of New Zealand. At Greymouth, Tupui Nuku, the eldest daughter, is learning how to tend plants with Rongo so that there will be enough food, medicine, and other essentials for the coming year. After delivering the message, she challenges you to a match to be sure that her mother has sent a strong trainer to deliver that message. At Christchurch, Tupui Rangi, the second eldest daughter, is singing a traditional song at the botanical garden. It is said that her beautiful voice would revitalize forest and bring joy to the world. After delivering the message, she challenges you to a match with the condition that if she loses, she will finish her performance early and return home. At Hamilton, Waipunorangi, the middle child, is seen fishing at Waikoto River, checking the quality of the fish and river water. After delivering the message, she asks for a battle, as she has yet to fight someone who has given her a challenge. At Napier, Waitai and Waitai, the second youngest twins, are taught how to take care of insects and learn how to work as a team. After delivering the message, the twins challenge to a match, testing their teamwork to see if they can prevail. At New Plymouth, Ururangi, the youngest sister, is seen having the time of her life enjoying the sunny climate while assisting those in need. After delivering the message, she insists on playing some more, but if you defeat her in a battle, she will stop playing and return to her mother. Once all the daughters return to Queenstown, the mother thanks you, and she and her six daughters head over to Mount Cook to return to the heavens. After you have defeated the Elite Fourth, several legendary Pokemon will be scattered all over New Zealand. If you visit 
visit the peak of Mount Cook at certain periods of time, you will be able to spot several legendary Pokemon introduced during the Araraki story, such as Ranganui, Papatuanuku, Depo, Dekore, and Deao. Three more legendary Pokemon will appear, which will be dubbed the Three World Creatures. Kupe was fishing at Cook Strait when a mysterious creature appeared and attacked him and his Pokemon. He asked you if you can assist him with finding this creature, as there were several other sailors and fishermen who were experiencing a similar fate. If you are lucky during your time surfing on Cook Strait, you will be able to find Teveke. Teveke is a giant octopus that Kupe fought so he and his people can go fishing without fear. Maui and Abel are seen discussing a phenomenon occurring in the sky, claiming that they saw something swimming in the sky at night. Visit the peak of Mount Cook at night during certain conditions and you may be able to find De Mangoroa. De Mangoroa is a shark that Maui put in the sky, creating the Milky Way. At Bluff, you find Toei and Watonga setting rumors of a mysterious creature that glows in the dark visiting the surface at night. Surf along Fobo Strait, the sea separating South Island and Stewart Island at a certain time during certain conditions, and you might be able to find Vaitere. Vaitere is the guardian of the sea and overseer of the underworld. Four more legendary Pokemon appear as guardians of the four secret items. The guardians are all based on Tanifa, supernatural creatures that take form of serpents or dragons that are both good and bad. The guardian of the secret embers at Mount Ruapehu is Ararua, a Tanifa who learned how to fly with the assistance of an albatross. At Lake Topo, the guardian of the ancient fish hook is Erai Teru, a Tanifa that helped guide the early canoe voyagers to New Zealand. Near Dunedin, the guardian of the ancient god stick is Ngirara Urarao, a Taniwa that nearly destroyed Hawks Bay and eight travelers that crossed its path. Near Picton, the guardian of the ancient feather is Tuhirangi, a Tanifa who traveled with Kupe to discover New Zealand and became the guardian Cook Strait. Thank you for joining me in this New Zealand Pokemon adventure.